So, Carrie, tell us about uh, the story behind this whole car and why you decided to uh, buy the Fiat 500. I bought the Fiat 500 because it's, um, it's really today's technology. I mean, as far as uh, it's uh, aerodynamic, it's light, it has low rolling resistance. Of course, it'd be nice if I could call up Chrysler and just buy a shell, but you can't do that. So I had to buy uh, a car that was in the lot, I brought it back to my shop, and I had to completely take the car apart. I mean, everything off of the car. So needless to say, I have a, uh, you know, if somebody wants a brand new Fiat engine, uh, we can make a deal. But I bought a brand new car um, just to build this electric car. I wanted to use... The, uh, today's technology and I felt that this was a very good car for an electric car. It has a uh, low um, wind drag, it's fairly inexpensive and it's a cute little car. I just made it a, a two-person uh, kind of a runabout, has a flat deck in the back, kind of a grocery getter and of course I can I can plug it into my shop, my house. I have the, uh, I have the conventional interface under here where the gas was. Now this is kind of the standard of the industry the little uh, charging stations that look like a parking meter, that will, that will plug in here, that interface is here. And if you go um, about 50 miles, a recharge is going to cost you approximately one dollar. So it's kind of hard to beat that. And, and super clean. And what I like about the electric car is that actually you could produce the electricity with solar. So you essentially have a solar car. And I used conventional hardware out there which is a, uh, a standard electric motor, 96 volt, and I use the lead acid batteries, which are 99% recyclable, made in this country. I try to buy things made in this country, and it's just the right thing to do. But I like the electric car because it's, um, you can make electricity from solar. I mean, you can be, you can be totally uh, green with this. And I reuse the five-speed manual transmission in here, so I actually shift it. So it's fun. You can start from the traffic light, Everything is uh, stopped. You're sitting there, you're not using any energy at all. And basically, you step on your accelerator and the car starts to move. And then you use the clutch when you shift. So it's a fun car to drive. Very, very economical. Really, all you can hear are the tires. Yeah, it's like a sailboat. It's kind of nice to to hear everything in the environment. So how long did it take to build this car? You know, I get going on something, I can't stop. I mean, I had other projects that are going on, but I just worked day and night, and I did this whole project, including demoing the car, in two months. So I feel pretty good about that. That's awesome. And it's nice to get something done, and you can drive it without a glitch. Plus, it looks cool. Yeah, and it looks cool. It's got a cool factor. We're so used to working on 12 volt stuff. You don't even worry about it. Oh, man. Now i got to hold myself back. It's so easy.
It was a fun project in the right direction to go.